guys welcome back for a new video if you're new here welcome thank you so much for choosing to click on this video please consider subscribing i would love to have you join my growing community today i am going to be organizing our pantry here in our kitchen in california if you guys have been watching me you know i organized my pantry um, in our apartment in georgia and now we have to do it again because we moved and I let my husband unpack everything um, that was in our pantry in Georgia. We just kind of took everything as it was and I boxed it up and then when we got it here, he just kind of put it in here and it's in here any kind of way along with the new food that we've purchased since we've been here. So it definitely needs to be done again. Side note, please excuse our meal plan board right here. My sister was visiting this weekend. Let me show you guys. So we're having Paige at every meal this week. Thank you, little sister. So anyway, I am going to be organizing our pantry today. The challenge that I'm facing here is that this pantry is completely different from the one that we had in Georgia. Um, so the one that I did, the pantry organization that I did in Georgia doesn't really translate to this space just because this pantry is laid out a lot differently. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like right now. Fair warning, it is a hot mess again, just like the one in Georgia was, but um, I'll just show you guys what we're starting with. I did purchase a few more bins and things to organize. Um, I am not really sure how I'm going to organize this one. I'm just gonna kinda figure it out as I go, but let me show you guys what we're starting with right now okay so this pantry has two parts so this is the longest part at the bottom and then there's another section up top so let me go ahead and open these up for you guys so you can see the containers and jars that i used in my other pantry organization just kind of in here right now um and then we did have to purchase you know more food since we've been here these are empty bins that i used last time around um bins down here just everything kind of thrown in and then at the top more of those containers and jars more bins so i am going to start with taking everything out and wiping the shelves down as i always do um one big difference about this pantry is that it goes back a, like way deeper so um that's a good thing and i think i might go ahead and just like put everything in the front and then extras of anything behind but i definitely want to be able to see everything that i'm working with so i'm just going to kind of figure it out as i go um, but the first step is to get everything out of here and get it all wiped down Okay guys, just a little update. Things are not really coming out the way that I wanted them to. I think working with this shape of a pantry that's just kind of like really deep this way is not really working out for me. I like to be able to see everything I have and that's one of the reasons I have an organized pantry. And so I'm just finding that since I have to put things this way, I've had to kind of lift up everything to see what it is. And that's just not sitting well with me. So um, my husband came in after he got off work today 
saw that I was a little stressed out. So I think he's going to Target to see if he can find some risers for me because maybe that'll make it a little better if I can just see more of what I have. So when he comes back, I'll see what I can do with that and um, we'll keep going. Hey guys. So the last time I talked to you, it was Friday and today is Tuesday. So when I last talked to you guys, I just really wasn't liking how this pantry was coming out. Um, my husband had actually gone to Target that evening and he, I'm not sure if he was just kind of nervous to pick something for me or he just, he just said he didn't really see anything that would work for um, what I was going for in the pantry. But on Saturday, the two of us actually went to the container store and I picked up something that I think might work. So I actually got two shelves. This actually goes inside this one and locks into place like that. This one's smaller, so I think this may work to create a little bit more space just so I can see everything I have going on in the pantry. So I'm gonna play around with this for a little bit and hopefully finish up this pantry and show you guys the after and hopefully it is a pantry that I love and that is functional. Okay guys, so really quickly, I'm just gonna show you what I was able to come up with. Um, this pantry is like so different from my last one. So I, it was a bit challenging, but I think I came up with something that should work out for us pretty well. So up here I have the canned foods. We don't really eat those very much. So they're up top, um, some dry foods, extra pasta. You guys know I love pasta. So I have tons of it already accessible down here. So that's just extra up there. Uh, we have some snacks here, granola bars, chips and pretzels. I just kept this um, up top just to maybe keep us from snacking so much. I don't know, we'll see. So that's what is up top. Oh, and that's just like a chip and dip tray up at the top. We don't really entertain very much, so it doesn't need to be reachable that much. All right, so down here, um, this is what I was able to come up with. This is pretty much the best I could do as far as making everything visible. Those shelves actually did help. Um, so I have some of our most used like containers and jars up here. My husband makes oatmeal like every morning and he uses, he uses brown sugar in his oatmeal. So I wanted to make sure that was readily accessible to him. Um, we eat a lot of rice, um, pancake mix. I actually probably need to get some more. Um, regular white rice is back there, white sugar, and then just some other, like all of our jar things back behind these things we don't really use as much and then um spaghetti and lasagna noodles are right here on the side so visually it looks really good um it may be a little bit difficult to access some of the things in the back but i just try to make sure that whatever we use the most is easily accessible down here i have some bins from ikea that my mom actually gave me shout out to her um this here is i told my husband this is his bin he loves peanut butter and jelly so all of his peanut butter is here we didn't even know that there were four containers of peanut butter in here so that is a big reason to go ahead and <laughs> organize your pantry because you might find that you have way more like duplicates of things and you know you just don't need that much no one needs this much peanut butter especially for two people so 
This is his bin, has his peanut butter, um, his honey. He loves tea with honey. And then he also puts honey in his coffee in the mornings. And then um, these raisins also go with the brown sugar and the oatmeal that he makes in the morning. So this is his bin. I wanted to make sure that um, everything was up front because he may not keep this as organized as I might. So I wanted to make sure that his stuff was up front so that he didn't have to go digging through anything. Um, here we have all of our oils, oil sprays. So this is olive oil, olive oil spray, um, some vegetable oil and some sesame oil. Here is the cereal situation that I was able to come up with. Love that. Back here we have like a baking bin, um, some syrup, dressing, sauces, that kind of thing back there. Here we have all of our gloves. We use these to cook every day. And then here we have plastic bags, um, parchment paper, plastic wrap. Um, this is also where our foil goes. It is out right now. Um, back there we have some extra ketchup and you know, just extras of things that we don't really use, oatmeal. Um, and then some plastic silverware. We don't use that often either. Down here we have our trash bags and paper towels. And that is everything that we have going on. All right, guys, so that is going to be it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that it motivated you to go ahead and organize your pantry. I know for me, those four jars of peanut butter were enough of a motivation to keep this pantry organized because there's just no reason for me to have duplicates of that nature. So. Having a nice, clean, organized pantry just allows me to see what I have. It's functional. It um, doesn't drive me crazy when I open the door. So yes, I now can see everything and I make sure I'm using everything in a timely fashion before it goes bad, that sort of thing. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. If you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,